now that the acquisition of lease plan by ALD is a fact, the integration process can take off. We are here in Paris to discuss what it means for you, the fleet customer. It's a pleasure to meet with Group Deputy Chief Executive Officer Berno Klein Herenbrink. He is the man that will need to lead the commercial activities of the new company ALD Lease Plan. Berno, it's a pleasure to meet. Um, first question immediately, more than 3 million vehicles within the new company, thousands of customers. How are you going to make them happy? Well, we hope to keep them happy because uh, during the last uh, surveys that we have done, uh, our customers are uh, happy. And um, one of the things, of course, that we want to make sure is that we continue the services uh, as they're known uh, to get it. Which means that um, depending, of course, on the size of the customer, is that uh, they uh, expect their account manager to stay the same, which we uh, will try to do as much as possible. And what we have expressed as uh, joint organizations is that we want to create no drama for our customers. Continue as much as possible what we do and build on that and, uh, and try to improve that uh, further. Because I think that uh, one of the things that uh, they trust from us is to continue to deliver what we have done uh, over the past uh, years. Sometimes it will not be so easy to avoid drama. How are you going to deal with that? Well, over the past year, or even more than one year, we've had a good uh, opportunity to create uh, solid plans, to understand uh, what our customers uh, want from us, to understand what the drivers are expecting uh, from us, and of course to prepare as much as possible for everything that we're going to do uh, to avoid uh, drama for our customers. I think that we really had the opportunity to think this through very well. Uh, we really had uh, also the opportunity to look at the best practices and uh, best-in-class ways of working within two really, really strong organizations. And I think that building on that will allow us really to make sure that not only we continue what we do, but we can also delight further uh, and build into the future of sustainable mobility. Um, you already talked about the existing customers. Uh, do I understand correctly that the first focus will be on the existing customers and not on getting new customers? The focus uh, will always be on our existing customers, uh, but as part of uh, making sure that we are a sustainable, healthy and growing organization, we continuously need to onboard new customers. So that will also be part and parcel of what we do. But it's a combination of both. It's not a choice. Uh, it's always uh, both. And I think that if you look at uh, the ambition that we have uh, going forward, uh, the growth, um, that uh, part and parcel of that will be also onboarding new customers. So the answer is, uh, is both. Um, another important thing is, of course, the international customers that are now, today, working with both companies, perhaps in a dual supply. What do you think will be the ratio of customers that you will lose because of that dual supply formula with the new company? Our, our ambition is not to lose any customers, um, but uh, we, we had a good chance to, uh, to analyze, uh, let's say, the overlap. The overlap is, uh, is, is limited in the sense that we are quite complementary in the way that we have our customer portfolio, uh, also from an international perspective. Um, over the past year, we've already had the opportunity to reach out to those customers where we were aware, in some countries that's uh, public information. And what we have seen is that uh, quite a number of those customers are keen to work and to continue to work with us, mm -hmm. uh, even on an exclusive basis, uh, which means that uh, the, the joining of forces will allow them uh, to get uh, a single uh, vendor uh, proposition. There are, of course, always customers that have an explicit choice that they want to have uh, a dual supply situation. But uh, the percentage uh, within uh, the total portfolio that we have of those customers is, is really, really limited. So we do not expect uh, drama over there. We don't expect drama over there. No, no. Then how will you manage the differences that exist in commercial and customer strategy and the practices between 
ALD and lease plan because although that both are big global vehicle leasing companies wanting to become a mobility giant, they of course have their own identity, their own commercial strategy. So how will you overcome those differences? One of the things that uh, we have of course now been able to do is to really look at uh, the strengths uh, that we have. Um, and uh, relative to each other. What we found is that, uh, especially in the approach of international customers, there's more similarity than, uh, than difference, uh, in a sense that's, uh, that's good. Uh, but in addition to that, we've also found that there's a bit of emphasis on certain areas where we uh, are now able to, uh, to build on that uh, further. If you look at uh, the whole program of electrification that ALD has gone through, uh, the program of electrification that we have gone through too, there's a bit of uh, difference in the sense that we are in some countries uh, larger than, uh, than ALD uh, and vice versa. And uh, building on that strength allows us also to fine tune the uh, commercial strategy. But the difference is not that big on international uh, customers. Will you create one commercial offering for your customers? It will always, especially if you look at the, uh, the real big customers, uh, there will be a, uh, a level of uh, customization uh, because there's of course a specificity that the customers uh, have, uh, it's either their drivers or their business that requires us to adapt uh, to the requirements of those customers. And that is not necessarily a difference between us as organizations, but it's much more a difference between the customers and the way that we want to address that. So that, that will definitely also be reflected in the approach that we take to the market. You are based in Amsterdam, the ALD lease plan headquarters is in Paris. You often come to Paris these days. Do you like Paris? Yes, I do. I love it. Uh, who, who doesn't like Paris? Uh, it's a beautiful city and I think that um, where we are based these days is less uh, relevant uh, in the sense of that we're trying to serve customers uh, worldwide. So that means that uh, yes, I, uh, I live in Amsterdam, uh, but of course uh, we, uh, we serve as much as possible the activities that we have uh, throughout Europe and the rest of the world. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank, you, you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. And in a couple of days you will have our third episode of this series and that is our interview with John Safford.